Another legislative deadline looms over state lawmakers as they debate bills concerning Capitol Police, the ballot initiative process, and Jackson's water. 12 News political reporter Richard Lake has more on a day full of legislative action. In the House, a nearly two-hour debate led to the passage of Senate Bill 2343. The bill would expand the jurisdiction and authority of Capitol Police within the Capitol Complex Improvement District. Jackson Representative Shonda Yates presented the bill with an amendment that would also expand the boundary lines of the CCID, therefore granting Capitol Police jurisdiction alongside JPD within those boundaries. For Representative Yates, more Capitol Police equals a safer Jackson. If we have an area where Capitol Police is expanded and they are able to patrol that area, I think it actually will serve to alleviate a burden off of JPD. One of her Jackson colleagues disagreed. Do you have any data that shows that Capitol Police is actually being infect effective in the area that it has right now? I have, I don't have actual data, no, but I have um, constituents and other people who live and work in the areas where Capitol Police are able to patrol, and I can tell you stories, again, if you'd like to hear about those. Also in the House, the lone ballot initiative proposal was kept alive. It faced bipartisan criticism due to its restrictive nature, including an amendment that prohibits the initiative process be used to amend or repeal any abortion laws. This is not perfect, but it keeps the initiative idea alive. Jackson Water was debated as well. In the Senate, the bill requiring cities to bill for water based off of usage was passed. And in the House, Senate Bill 2889, which would have created a nine-member regional authority board over Jackson's water system, was not brought up and died on the calendar. Reporting in Jackson, Richard Lake, 12 News.